If you wonder how spiritual kundalini awakening and rising affect your sexual life, that is a question that came lately by a sincere seeker. All those questions related to sex. Ooh, Devi Ma, what's going on with my sexual life? And is it affecting my spiritual development, my growth? What can I do? I need to learn and find out because I'm overwhelmed with what's happening in my life and there's something to be overwhelmed when you're awakening because it's such a phenomenal um, blessing and grace that is happening for you, beloved. And so this question has been coming up a lot lately and in this video we're going to look at the different aspect, there's four different aspects, how your sexuality will impact your spiritual awakening, your kundalini arising, and versa versa, how your spiritual awakening and kundalini arising will affect your, <coughs> your sexuality. And so, number one, very important, and this is what I have experienced firsthand, but what I've seen in not only inner knowing and mystical uh, knowing as well, but from my own experience, what I've gone through in, when, in regards to sexuality. The first one is when you start awakening, is out of a sudden you will have a surge of sexual energy. And it's overwhelming because sexual desire is there, it's intense, and thoughts, and the libido is very strong, and um, it's intense. And it's normal. It's the sexual, it's, first of all, it's kundalini, shakti, is ascending. And so sexual energy is a spiritual force also. It's a powerful force, I should say. It's natural. Let's talk about that even before we go into what are the four aspects because I think we need to talk about what really is sexuality. Let's demystify that a little bit. Don't you agree? Making love is a very beautiful thing. It can be very it actually can be a divine experience when you are with a a lover with your partner, it's a natural, it's healthy. Sex is about procreation. It was imparted to us by our Creator, so we should not be ashamed of it. And, and, and unfortunately, throughout the ages, as some of you know, among so many religions, you see that a fear has been imparted, like ingrained into the masses, um, specifically certain religion and particularly I saw it in my own family of origin when I look at my mother that sex was a scene and my own uh, mother ended up having seven kids and I was the last one, the baby who came, who was unwanted by the way, she was already in her 40s. And she was prohibited by a religion from taking the con contraceptive and that sex was a scene. And so it's unfortunate because it was designed to ingrain shame over you, power over you and control. And there's nothing to be ashamed. It's our biology, so let's accept that and it's part of nature. You see it everywhere in nature, everything, even in flowers. Everything is sensual, everything reproduces, and it's Shakti who is manifesting the beauty of creation of this existential wor world. So there's nothing to be ashamed of. And when it comes to love and sexuality, it's always too opposite attracting to each other. And we, because we live in a world of two dimension, and let me explain what I mean by that. The physical realm is the world of duality, where relative truth uh, is taking place. 
and then there is oneness, non-duality, where the absolute truth is omnipotent, omnipresent, never changing. All the law of the universe uh, are governed by the absolute truth. And so when it comes to sexuality, you see it everywhere in the animal kingdom, you see it in, in the mineral, you see it in kingdom in the, um, the, the plant kingdom. Even plants reproduce themselves and that's how we perpetuate the physical world. So all manifestation in the physical realm come from the relative of two opposite. What Devi Maima means by that, the opposite, like uh, good and bad, life and dead, male and female, and so on and so forth. So when it comes to sexuality partner, when they meet, it's common for a couple, especially on the spiritual path, when they are in the act of sexual act, there is consciously or unconsciously that deep desire of wanting to merge because of the polarity to merge and experience one, what it is, the oneness, non-dual, the oneness of existence, the divine presence that I call. And, but you can get a glimpse of it, but it will never take you there. It will always leave you empty and dead. And so this is not the way to self-realize. In Tantra, you transmute your energy in through Tantra, not <laughs> the Neo Tantra, but we won't go there. That's subject for another uh, a satsang and video. Let's stick to the subject. So, sexuality, it's natural. It's when it becomes an indulgement, an excess. It's where it will deeply affect you. So we were talking about the first aspect. And I'm sorry, I backtracked, but it was very important to impart this, uh, this knowledge. So, say spirituality, Devima was saying, it will, you will feel as the energy is moving, especially when it's moving into your heart chakra, your anahata. There's a burst of sexual energy. It's intense. You feel it 24 hours. It's wild. Even uh, Swami Muktananda talked about that. I think when he was alive, he experienced the same thing. And at that stage is you simply don't know how to transmute your that spiritual force, that energy. Because think of it, it's just an energy, it's very natural. You can even say it's divine because the reality, the absolute truth, everything is divine in the, in the cosmos. And so you haven't learned to transmute it and to bring it into your ajna, into the brain to convert it into Oja. And we will talk about Varya, Varya and Oja when we move further in the third aspect. So stick around because you might learn a lot of new things and, and gain a lot of realization and insight. And the number two aspect is when you move from that now, when the energy, Kundalini Shakti, is in the heart chakra, that is a moment where it's very intense because a lot of purification takes place, a lot of karmic structure fall apart, and you've been dismantled, beloved, a lot of demolition, and you start learning, and I'm assuming that you are in sadhana, right? Because you must be in, in spiritual practices, meaning the deeper your sadhana is, the faster you're going to go through the Kundalini Ascension. You will be in fast forward movement, which I talked about previous video in satsang. And so there, you're starting to learn how to transmute your energy into the higher chakra. And so the number two is aspect is the more you 
are disassociating with your body temple. You are not identifying so much with it. The more your sexuality is going to recede. Do you get that? I will repeat again. And, as, and especially the Runana Banda. We will talk about the Ru, Runanu Banda, sorry, the Runanu Banda. We will talk about it also when we get into the third aspect. It's a lot of things to discuss in, in, this, uh, in this video. So, when you are experiencing the energy in the Hanahata, it's so intense that you start to really lose complete interest into sexuality. It naturally happens because you dis, dis, you're not in, identifying with the body anymore. And so the more the sexuality will, will recede. And then number three aspect is as the energy is moving into the higher chakra, Kundalini is making her ascent to the Swahasara in the 1000 petal lotus, which is located above into the Swarasara, which take immense voltage of energy. It could take a whole lifetime, it could take many lifetimes, and it could go at different movement. Uh, everyone is different depending on your karmic structure. However, there, through your sadhana, your spiritual practices, you naturally learn to transmute your energy into oja. First of all, let's talk about Varya. Varya. V I R Y A. Varya from Sanskrit just mainly means your potency, your virility, your virility, your potency. It's like your inner force. And the Varya can be transmuted into Oja. Oja is is something that you cannot see with your naked eye. It is the highest energy of the human body. Of all energy, this is the highest. That's why spiritual, sexual energy, when it's transmuted, it becomes a divine energy when it's brought into the, into the brain. And Oh, let's look at it, beloved, like to give you an example. Think of a jasmine flower. The pure sense, when you extract the pure sense of it is essential oil. That you would say is the oja. You could look at homopathy remedy when they extract the essence of a plant. That is the oja. And so when you transmute your sexual force energy into oja, it's a great vitality. And when you transmute your varya into oja, it becomes an incredibly potent energy, a divine energy that will serve your highest self-realization. Oja brings about Siddhi, spiritual power. And that is why celibacy is considered to be the highest virtue in the yogic tradition on the spiritual path of enlightenment, of self-realization. Not out of a moral issue a more, or et ethnic uh, um, ethic issue, but moral issue particularly. And that's what I wanted to say in the beginning when we started here, is everything Devima talks about here, it's not about moral, not at all. It is related how it can empower yourself and to understand what's happening with my being in my life, why I'm not sexual anymore. And so, and how can my sexual force energy empower my enlightenment 
Don't you want to know that? So that's why Oja, Varia in Oja is so very important because you can look at it as your true core essence. You, the highest refined energy of who you are, a spirit soul in so many aspects and your physical body as well at all level. So Oja brings tremendous attraction. You can, when your Oja is strong, you can see in the sparkle. All those inner forces, you can see in the eyes that the glow of the light, you can see the Varya and the Oja of that person emanated through their eye. When you see a being and you look at their eyes, it's like, is that real? Do you wear contact lenses? Sometimes uh, some people ask me those questions and you would see also other people, their Oja is so strong. It's not the aura, this is beyond that. It's the highest energy of the body. And when you Oja, the more you Oja is in the Ajna into the brain area, uh, the more spiritual power you're going to have, develop, naturally develop, the more you will become a leader of the world. You start attracting a lot of people. It empowers your spiritual development, it empowers your spiritual growth. It, it is truly about enlightenment and it empower all at the highest level. And it's been said in the yogic tradition that one who has this oja right into the brain, into the, Aj the, the Ajna, the third eye area, um, and who uh, um, is, how can I say that? It is celibacy, in celibacy chastity and use this oja has become a god not with the big capital g but a god and some of you will truly understand that you could say a deity that's why it's considered the highest uh, value because the highest virtue because not for moral issue but to be out in the world to manifest incredible beauty and help others and live and help all living beings. And so Oja will serve you to the highest, but without the number three aspect is chastity. You may decide to become a Brahmacharya. I think it's number four. No, yeah, we are at number four. You might decide where you are now on your spiritual evolution, that sexuality is not even something, it's beyond of the beyond. You have zero sexuality and it's completely beautiful and all right. You have gone through your Kundalini Ascension. You have attained, you have self-realized, or you're still in this unfoldment and you decide, you're not quite there yet, but you decide that celibacy is for you in right divine timing. And that is so beautiful. That is a blessing if you are there, you have made the decision and that decision is made in divine timing. You know when you're ready. And sexuality is not even something that you, it's not even there. And, and so why not embrace celibacy and you have learned how to transmute your Oja and you can be a force now in the world, whatever you choose to do, it can be any profession. So don't worry if your sexuality is like a roller coaster and just embrace everything you're going through through your spiritual awakening and kundalini arising. And where are you at right now for you? And have you um, been 
going through those stages. Where are you? Are you feeling you have excess energy? You don't know how to move it? Or have you gone crazy with your sexuality and gone with the wrong partner? Have you noticed that, beloved? If you sleep with too many people and you go with the wrong partner, how it's going to affect your energy? And that's one thing we didn't talk about. The runana banda. The runana runanu banda really it is a very important thing when you are on the spiritual path. It is just mean a physical memory. Physical memory is epic <laughs> when you are, uh, no matter where, if you are on the spiritual path or not, it's epic. Because the body remember everything. It behaves in a way, it's a physical memory. And so that's why it's so difficult when you break up with a lover. And, and so you will have a lot of emotional pain because erasing, purifying this karmic structure is very hard because it's so ingrained into the physical body in the subtle body. And, and so as you do spiritual practices, the runana bandha gets clear up and it will be purified. And as the energy move up, and your oja and your varya is getting transmuted into oja, into the brain, the runa nubanda just kind of clear out. And you will find at ease, you will find an incredible ease in your system, incredible equanimity and bliss, because all of this is gone and you will find you can experience your divine presence right here and now so share your experiences down below in the comment section because it helped for others to understand what they're going through especially when you have permicuous sex it will affect you runana banda in a very big way and an upcoming video will be exactly more in depth on sexuality and excess indulgement in sexuality, as well as pornography and, um, and masturbation, because I, I get a lot of, of questions on that subject. So stay tuned. If you miss this video, it will come up very soon. And so, share this video because this is such an important aspect and don't be ashamed of your sexuality and embrace every moment and empower yourself and by the way what you have learned in right now and have you gained any insight what are the key elements for you in your life insight and realization that in with Davy Ma right now, that do you feel like you want to make a change? How is this going to make a difference? Write it down in the comment section and if you have any question also. And subscribe if you're new on our loving community. Come and join. We post every day on the community tab and come. We have Drinking Bliss Divine Satsang every second Monday live stream 7 p.m pacific time and share the video to your friend and you love her because that's the one thing also are you giving the cold shoulder to your lover or is your your lover giving you your cold shoulder and you don't understand why we don't make love anymore i don't understand what's going on in my relationship this will hopefully help you gain insight and realization and so if you have questions write it down in the comment section and watch this coming video coming up how your spiritual awakening affect your relationship that will give you also a lot of realization and another video on uh, the secret of love 
why some people succeed and why some fail. So I'm here for you. Reach out, beloved.